I'll get all this Eatmo pie. And yeah, that was the new Chain Lightning animation. A lot of new things coming in 5.2. Uh, the big one for us, for us monks, is Storm Earth and Fire. And a lot of people have asked me how this ability works, how it's meant to be used. And I didn't really want to get too much into it. And I honestly, I haven't done enough testing to, well, not nearly as much as I normally do to make a guide. So this is not a guide. This is just like Storm Earth and Fire 101 in four minutes or less. Uh, basically, the way that this works is you can summon up to two copies of yourself that will, they will mimic your abilities. Uh, each copy costs 10 energy and you can only summon one per target so you have to actually switch targets to get both out uh, they're not meant for single target this is a DPS loss in a single target fight period it's a DPS loss the only time a single target you would ever pull these out is if it was a movement phase and you actually could not hit your target then you pull one out and it's gonna do damage uh, they do die they can be killed they only have, they gain 10% of your max HP. So, yeah. But they only cost 10 energy. So if they do die, then you can just pop them right out again. And you can see the way that if you try and pop out more than one on a target, uh, it will just return the one that's on it. So it's that's a nifty thing. Uh, they will stay on your target until you unsummon them, or they die, or your target dies. Now, as I said, they will mimic most of your abilities. Uh, they will use your healing talents. Um, Chi Wave, Zen Sphere is what I'm testing right now. And, um, yeah, Chi Burst, they'll use them all. They'll also use your Rising Sun Kick, your Tiger Palm. They will gain Tiger Strikes. Your Blackout Kick Dots will apply to their targets. Um, the only thing that doesn't happen is Fist of Fury does not stun when you use it. Uh, as you can see here, it, it doesn't stun the targets. But it did in the early PTR, but it doesn't anymore. And, well, that's good. That's balance. That's PvP. People would be abusing the crap out of this in PvP if that wasn't the case. Now, also, that is uh, the new Ring of Peace animation. I think it looks pretty darn good. And it, actually, if you cast it on things like critters, it'll make a tiny little green bubble. It's kind of cool. Anyway, um, okay. When I said that you can't have more than one on a target I wasn't being totally truthful but it's actually not worth doing this uh, if you pull them out and then paralysis one of their targets they will just swap to a different target because they're not dying their targets not dying and um, you're not unsummoning them you can do this it is not really a DPS increase it's just kinda silliness but uh, yeah or you can get them to follow you around if you do it on a target as I said in one of my previous videos Anyway, this is just a quick demonstration to show you that they do, in fact, get your buffs. You can see they get the Rising Sun buff, uh, even all the way over there, which is farther than 8 yards. Uh, they get Tiger Palm, and they'll also, they can proc Tiger Strikes, as well as your Blackout Kick Dot will apply, well, their Blackout Kick Dot will apply. So I'm not 100% certain on what the best AoE rotation is going to be if, we can, if we're going to stick the single target. Or if it's going to be completely different. I haven't been able to raid test yet. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. This is Eatmo Pie. I'll see ya.